Welcome back. Working with curvature is critical while you're surface modeling. In this lesson, we'll be learning about another curvature measurement type, geometric continuity. In our previous lesson on curvature, we learned that curvature is basically an expression of a non-planar face. A planar face has zero curvature. In other words, it's flat. In CAD systems, the smoothness of a surface is defined by geometric continuity. We can describe geometric continuity as follows. G to the power of n, where n is the measure of smoothness. In this lesson, we'll be looking at examples of the curvature standards G0, G1, and G2. For the purposes of this lesson, we'll be using the variables C and G interchangeably, where C stands for parametric continuity and G stands for geometric continuity. On screen, I've currently got an example of G0 continuity, otherwise known as positional continuity. G0 simply means the end of two curves or the edges of two surfaces are at a common position in space, but no tangency is present. As a result, there's a sharp angle, a sharp transition. If we did something like apply a fillet to the intersection of these two entities, then tangency would be present. Let's apply a 20 millimeter fillet and click OK. Tangency is an example of G1 continuity. G1 continuity is otherwise known as tangent continuity. This is where two curves or surfaces share a common point or edge in space and have tangency between them. Now let's go back to our surface. I'll exit the sketch. The curvature tool is currently active. We see a very sharp transition from the curvature of 0 0.05, represented in bright green, to the curvature of zero, which is represented in black. Let's make some modifications to our sketch to see if we can improve the smoothness of this transition. If I highlight these two segments, we see that the greatest level of continuity we can achieve between the arc and the line is G1, or tangent continuity. However, if we replace this straight line with a spline, we've got some more options. Check for construction and click OK. Let's activate the spline tool. The spline point will be here. Right click and select to end the spline. Now let's shift select the spline and the arc. Under Add Relations, we now have the option to add equal curvature as well as a tangent relation. OK. And let's delete this tangent relation. We'll exit the sketch now. This gives us an example of G2 geometric continuity. With G2 geometric continuity, the transition between these two surfaces is a continuous curvature, and that of course has a curvature value of 1. Let's see how we can make this transition even smoother. Let's edit the sketch. Right click on sketch 1, select Edit Sketch. Now let's go to Tools, Spline Tools, and select Fit Spline. Let's select this line and the arc. We'll uncheck the Closed Spline option. The Tolerance level let's leave as is at 0 0.01 and click OK. And let's exit our sketch. Now we've got another example of G2 geometric continuity. And this concludes our lesson about geometric continuity.